Welcome back, Avengers fans, to another episode of Assemble. My name is High Ruler, and today we have weekly blog number 14. So I know what a lot of you guys may be here for, um, and I'll just come out and say it right at the rip here. There are no updates to Clony Labs whatsoever. Um, so if you guys are here looking for more information on that, there's nothing mentioned in the blog. I'll kind of speculate why towards the end of the video, and I'll kind of leave a timestamp in the description for you guys and just looking for any sort of Clony Lab stuff. Um, but yeah, if you're if you're here hoping there's something in the weekly blog, there's nothing mentioned at all about Clony Labs. All right, as unfortunate as that is, I mean, obviously for myself too, um, very disappointed in kind of no Clony Labs mentioned. Um, very disappointed in in like. Even, you know, obviously now that it's going to be delayed, that they haven't even kind of mentioned anything about it. Um, very, very, very disappointed. And once again, I'll kind of speculate at the end of the video, just kind of talk about my thoughts as to why that could be. Um, but yeah, so for anyone here for Clony Lab stuff, I'm sorry. Like, I'm, I'm truly sorry that I, there's just nothing. Okay. Um, so, yeah. All right. So with that being said, let's kind of get into the weekly blog and we'll kind of see what they do talk about um, with regards to everything going on this week coming up in Avengers. So happy Thursday, Marvel fans, and welcome to our Marvel's Avengers War Table weekly blog, where we'll give you the scoop on news, patch notes, marketplace updates, and more. We have finally arrived in December, everyone. From our crystal family to yours, we hope you're having a warm and happy start to your holiday season. Perhaps some of you are new here from our Black Friday and Cyber Monday sales, in which case, welcome. We are excited to have you join us on our Avengers journey. And to the veterans who have been here since launch, or since our first war table, or since we first announced Marvel's Avengers so many years ago, thank you for being here with us. Next week marks an exciting milestone for us with the arrival of Kate Bishop as our first post-launch playable superhero, warping in with her own abilities, heroics, outfits, and story in Marvel's Avengers Operation Kate Bishop taking aim on all platforms at no extra cost. In the meantime, read up on this week's updates to the Priority Harm Missions, Mega Hives, and more. Weekly updates, Priority Missions. Priority Missions and modifiers to the challenge even the toughest superhero. Your first weekly completion of these missions earns unique gear you won't find anywhere else. So, the first one is Stark Realities. The minimum power level is 25 with a plus 3 power level offset. The modifiers are Famine, Turmoil, and Heavyweight. Your guaranteed reward is Epic Gear. The second one is Our Town with a minimum power level of 120 with a plus 5 power level offset. The modifiers are Famine, Goliath, Bane, and Supercharged. Your guaranteed reward is Polychroon in Hero Specific Gear. Priority Harm Challenges. Priority Harm Room Challenges have additional modifiers and reward comics that increase your collection and boost your stats. Weekly first completion reward is Avengers 1963, number 122. Your minimum power level 15 challenge. The modifiers are Oasis and Torpedo. Minimum power level 100 challenge with a plus 5 power level offset. Your modifiers for that are Torpedo, Snowball, and Clash. Mega Hive. The Mega Hive is a single player chain of 8 missions that test your team's might. Each week you'll have a shot at completing the Mega Hive mission chain. When you defeat all eight missions, the Mega Hive mission chain is removed from the war table until the next weekly refresh, when you can run it, run it again with two, with new modifiers. This week's modifiers include Famine, Clash, Heavyweight, and Bane. So for the weekly rewards, once again, all you care about is you get two exotics with the character that you finished it on. So make sure you plan accordingly, just in case you've been dying a lot, or maybe you know, you're trying to use these exotics to kind of build up your, you know, build up a character you may have been neglecting. It is the character that you finished the Mega Hive with that will get the two guaranteed exotics. All right. So um, this week we will cover the pro, pro tips just because there may be some new people here. Um, usually I don't cover the pro tips just because, I mean, in a lot of ways, I very rarely feel the effects of the modifiers. Um, but since there could be some new people um, to the community, to the game, to the channel, I will kind of give you guys the, the scoop on the pro tips here from the weekly blog. So let's get into Torpedo. It's best to select heroes with strong range attacks or to equip gear high in the precision attribute to best take advantage of Torpedo. Don't forget, enemy range attacks also do more damage, so be sure to dodge and evade incoming projectiles. Famine. 
Focusing on takedowns and careful usage of the regenerative nanite containers are key to survivability when famine is active. Bane. Adaptoids are one of the more challenging enemies in the game, and Bane just makes them more prevalent. Defeat these powerhouse opponents and don't let them restore their health. If you see them put up their shields to regenerate, get in close and use a power attack to stop them from healing. And then Heavyweight. Stunning enemies is a very effective combat tactic, and when Heavyweight is active, things just get easier. Equipped gear with a high intensity attribute score to magnify the impact of this modifier. So, those are your pro tips for this week, guys. Uh, good luck out there. So, let's get into the most interesting part of this weekly blog. As, as interesting as that is to say. So, let's kind of take a peek here at everything we got going on. So... If you guys didn't know, let's let's just take a second to see that they're all emotes this week, which is, um, yeah, I mean, so we had all skins. Was it all skins last week? I know a lot of the time they've been putting a lot of skins in the weekly, um, in the weekly kind of marketplace. So maybe this is them trying to balance it out. I can kind of see the logic behind it. The problem is. We've had all these emotes throughout since the game launched. There's not anything new. If you're going to make it all emotes, put new ones in there. You know what I mean? Like, give new emotes so, like, people are like, oh, I've never seen this before. Boom, 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 you know? And then they buy all them, and then they have their emotes, you know, kind of settled right then and there. To kind of just release a full week, or sorry, full week, I mean, the, it is resetting on Tuesday, which is interesting all in itself. But to just kind of give you like a very short week of just emotes, I mean, we'll have to kind of wait and see. I, I Right now, this looks really, really bad. Um, so the fact that they're resetting it early on Kate's release, maybe it's like, okay, we got to give them something to kind of, you know, kind of stem these next few days. So let's just kind of throw this marketplace at them with some reduced cost for emotes and just kind of see where it goes knowing that on Tuesday we're going to have new costumes for Cade and everything else. So I, as it stands right now, doesn't look good. Let's kind of wait until Tuesday to see if kind of we see the logic behind it. But the problem is, is like, once again, there's nothing new, you know? It, it These are all emotes we've seen for the past, you know, three months. That, uh, sorry, I guess like two months, right? September, October, you know? Um, going into this like first week of no or this it's December three months okay you guys see where 2020 has put me right um so yeah so three months we've seen these emotes and then they do a kind of mini marketplace with emotes I mean it, it doesn't sound too bad but once again let's wait until Tuesday and kind of see where we're at all right but I know, I know. If you guys, if you guys tell me you hate this marketplace, I'm gonna understand. I'm gonna, I'm gonna side with you. I get it. I understand. It does suck. Totally sucks. <laughs> it does suck. Um, so that is the marketplace this week. Oh boy. Uh, community spotlight. The community challenge. Team up with the global player base to meet mega goals and unlock rewards. The <laughs> The goal is to defeat 7.5 million Adaptoids. Your reward is Captain America Nameplate 25. I'll echo what a lot of people have said. It doesn't really seem like we're completing a lot of these challenges. Um, I don't know if that's a case of, you know, just too little player base, too high of a goal, or if something's not registering right on their end. But it definitely seems like we're really not kind of meeting the goals week, week in and week out. And I, and I don't know... If that's just them, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I wish I could tell you. But what I can see here, so, I mean, obviously, the reward looks really cool. Um, This nameplate looks really cool. I'm looking at the Funko Pop one. Is that from the rewards, guys? Like, the Funko rewards? Because, that I mean, that looks pretty cool, too. I really hope, you know, we do actually kind of get there and meet this one because that actually is a very cool nameplate, the one that they're giving away this week. Um, so I hope that we actually kind of make it there. <laughs> I hope. Um, yeah. So Community Spotlight and the pictures look to be, we've seen all these before. I don't think we've seen this one before, but we've definitely seen that one. 
and we've definitely seen this one. So I think the only new one is the middle one with the Hulk. So that looks to be the last part of the weekly blog. So as promised, let me give my speculation as to why there are no Colony Labs this week. So everyone knows that they talked about Colony Labs as being kind of the precursor to Kate, right? It was going to be Colony Labs that leads into Kate, and then Kate leads into Hawkeye, and then so on and so forth, right? So now we are a weekend away from uh, our first post-launch hero without our weekly or weekend activity that is supposed to tie into the launch of this character. So here's my thinking, right? So there's two there's two ways you can probably think about this, right? So we kind of know that for the most part, you know, you can kind of infer based on the information that you do know that Colony Labs has been in kind of bug fixing and bug testing for the last little while, right? Um, they've kind of said that on dev streams that has been in, you know, bug testing, so on and so forth. So you can kind of infer from that that maybe the bugs are to an extent that they weren't able to kind of solve as quickly as they wanted to, which I mean, that's possible. There's also another train of thought that I've seen people talk about that may be based on the reaction to Clony Labs and kind of the reaction to um, the leaks of it and the discussions of it that maybe they've decided to rework it. Um, possible. I don't know. I don't know what kind of... Um, I don't know how much work that would entail. I don't know, obviously, if they were going to do that, like what kind of scope of, the, of like the rework that they would obviously undergo. Um, I would say maybe... I would say out of the two... The much more likely one would be the bugs have been to an extent that they could even predict. Um, but I mean, I, would, I wouldn't rule out any possibility. Um, I mean, one of the things that I was saying today is, I mean, if I was Crystal Dynamics and I knew that Clony Labs wasn't going to come out today based on, you know, and, and taking the information that they would know internally and then going, okay, we've told them that Clone Labs is going to come out before Kate, yada, yada. I don't know why that they didn't come out this week or even today and be like, hey, guys, listen, I know you're expecting Clone Labs. It's not coming out. Here's kind of where we are with Clone Labs, right? I don't know why they wouldn't do that because the thing about this is personally, it's felt like Crystal Dynamics has been behind the eight ball on a lot of the messaging with regards to this game, right? It seems like they're very, very reactive when they need to be proactive in a lot of their messaging and getting the kind of news out there to people. So perfect example is like they, do, they don't do themselves any favors. And this is a perfect example of that. Instead of, you know, coming out this week and being like, hey, guys, this is what happened and this is what we're planning to do. And, you know, kind of here we are right now. Um, instead, we're just kind of like, oh, guess no Colony Labs this week. Like, where is it? What's going on? You know, and now you leave the community up to speculation. And then the community, you know, is going to start thinking, you know, is it even canceled at this point? Like, we, we just don't know anything. And if I'm Crystal Dynamics, one of the things that I would highly, highly want to work on is my messaging, you know? interaction with the community and not to say the community managers are doing a bad job or anything like a lot of this is very much so probably red tape but i feel like they need to start stressing to you know whoever it is that's kind of holding the the cards in their hand like we need to start kind of being a little more transparent with our community right um and that's kind of where i feel like as a as a consumer that's where i feel like they need to be because um as a content creator, as someone who, you know, kind of makes content in the game, you know, I, I do feel like I have to come out there sometimes. And I, I put a tweet out today where I was like, hey, guys, like, I've, I see some of you are getting your hopes up. Like, come on, like, don't get your hopes up. Like, we don't know. We don't know. We don't know. We don't know. And that's the problem is we just don't know. Right. Um, so whether it's like Clony Labs this week or a roadmap, like we we need to start knowing. And that's the problem right um once again i'm not putting blame on like an individual you know community manager or part of the community team i know there's a bunch of red tape and like hands are tied um but the people who can make these decisions and can kind of pull the strings that need to be pulled need to start pulling them like right now um because 
as as a fan, as a consumer, as someone who wants to see this game do well, they need to really start planning ahead. And it's not just planning ahead on the roadmap, it's planning ahead on the messaging. It's planning ahead on, you know, kind of see see a, sh- a shitstorm coming and then do your best to kind of get in front of it. You know what I mean? Um, the only saving grace that they have is that Clony Labs isn't going to be this weekend, but they're saved by Kate next week. If this was like, if, if, if Kate wasn't coming out next week, and this was another weekend without Clony Labs, and there's no information on it. There's no even kind of details on like where in production it is, like, or what's going on with it. Like, I couldn't even imagine, like, you know, what kind of the reaction by the community would be, you know? Um, so, yeah, just as a fan of the game, as a fan that wants to see the game do well, I can only hope for and ask for more transparency, more, you know, kind of open you know very much so like hey guys like this is this um what we're gonna do is this is this and hopefully by the end of it you'll get that you know what i mean like but that's it man um i don't know i mean i could i could sit here and just kind of go on all day i'd rather not um the at the end of the day no cloning laps this weekend um uh, but kate on tuesday so we'll have to kind of wait and see where where it goes from here on out um but i, I for a lot of people who are going to be disappointed, I'm right there with you. I'm right there with you. Um, we'll, we'll just kind of see where it goes. All right, guys? So with that being said, guys, thank you so much for hanging out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, sorry to be the bearer of the bad news. Um, I hate to do it. I, I hate to kind of crush, you know, cr- crush the dreams of playing Clony Labs with your friends this weekend. So um next week's a big week though we'll we'll get some new get some new stuff we'll we'll hopefully see some cool stuff next week with the release of kate with super adaptoid um we'll we'll get we'll 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 be in a better spot by next week but it definitely right now in this moment it is the darkest timeline i said it earlier in a tweet and i said no clony labs and an emote only marketplace this is the darkest timeline oh god all right well i will see you guys later go enjoy the rest of your thursday um and i will see you guys next week for k bishop uh, if you guys like the content you like the video you like the channel drop a like leave a comment subscribe to the channel i will be streaming avengers all next week for the release of Kate Bishop. If you're interested in hanging out and coming to see kind of some craziness, um, twitch.tv slash high ruler. It'll be in the description below. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys later on. All right. Thank you guys so much once again for all the love and support you guys give. And I will see you guys later on. All right. Peace.